Bucs also been a little bit fortunate with some teams having on it. some off nights missing open looks. How about Patrick Beverly? Offensive rebound and put back. Flying in there, getting it done. Just three-point shooting barrage <laughs> before the game was pretty impressive. I saw you chatting him up right Oh, yeah. D'Angelo Russell over Desmond Bain able to get the bucket to go. Jordan Poole went to as well. They were teammates at La Lumiere. And it was really an impressive thing is talking about impressive. How <laughs> about that leaping leader by D'Angelo? We're all going like, how do you not play this guy? Ryan Saunders had to put him in the game. And there he is again, nearly got to put back it rattled out. Over the last six games from three-point range, that is really uncharacteristic for him. And he's two of tonight, but the Tim Pools get the quick bucket. And you saw in that graphic as Russell unable to connect. Beverly comes up with the rebound. His fourth offensive rebound of the game. Vanderbilt extra pass to Towns. Towns the fake and the finish. Uh, hold on, Mike, Mike Greenbaum's gonna actually write it out for me. I might have been interpreting what they were trying to tell me long. Uh, how about the cut and the finish by Jake McDaniels? You see. Tyus Jones slips, falls to the floor. He doesn't do that very often, turn it over. Edwards, he can do that! Anthony Edwards! Tyus's mom, Debbie, sitting in the front row. Same spot she was sitting here on Thursday to watch Trey Jones. Play for San Antonio. D'Angelo Russell. I talked to him before the game tonight. Yeah. He told me he got there with about eight minutes left in the first half. Got there as soon as he could after the team landed. Luke Beasley out of the corner throws the three right in front of John Conchar. Tim Wolves all over it. They get it ahead to Russell. And D'Lo is going to put it in. And Taylor Jenkins wants a timeout. Second bucket tonight for him. Gilo wanted to back Tyus down. Tyus takes it away. Good job by Anderson to come from the backside and get the steal. Ah! You didn't know that uh, that Debbie Jones, they actually uh, grew up with Marnie Gellner. Like Marnie knew them in high school and then Greg and Darcy back in college. So I did not know We've that. Known that family for a while, Mar Marnie has. You guys watch Timberwolves basketball live on your mobile device with the Bally Sports app presented by T-Mobile. Tyus has been close to my son Sanjay. They kind of Tyus was a couple years behind Sanjay. Sanjay's with 2012. Grade. A little bit ago here. Nice job by Nas Reed to, to shift over when Stephen Adams came in. He went to go against Van Gogh. I mean, the contesting hand. You're trying to, to contest the shot. You're not trying to you know, get a foul called on the rip through. Clinic. Each clinic will focus on skills, teamwork, and leadership, and everybody gets two tickets to a Timberwolves game, an Academy shirt, and a special gift. You can find out more at Timberwolves Basketball Academy. You know, Zaire Williams had that hand kind of straight out, and we've seen with Chris Paul and others. Russell picked up by Kyle Anderson. Had it poked away and got it back. Wow. Russell. Two of the best dunkers in the game on the floor right now here in Minneapolis. Edwards and John Moran. And it's been Edwards who's had a more enjoyable night. Vanderbilt, no. Taps Buck back up and in by Russell. Edwards and John Moran. And it's been Edwards who's had a more enjoyable night. Vanderbilt, no. Taps Buck back up and in. Okay. See the Pat Bev effect here on D'Lo because D'Lo's pressured up. Fantastic job keeping his team in the game. One of the reasons how they got back into the game was because of John Morant's defense. Good shooter all through college. Like his stats, they transferred to the NBA level. <laughs> yeah. and the NBA is chock full of names that we've all have to learn. D'Angelo Russell is another easy one to say. And that jumper looked pretty easy right there. I mean, you think about what the Wolves have done, Jim, in, in their defensive field goal percentage and defensive effective field goal percentage for the Timberwolves. And I've grown accustomed over the years, Jim, to when I go to that stat, to looking towards the bottom to find Beverly for Russell out of the corner, and that falls. They are feasting right now. They've got 16 threes made in the game. Bain leaves 
Leaves it short. Russell comes down with the basketball. Leaves it short. Russell comes down with the basketball. Russell looking for another three, and why not? Absolutely everything falling here tonight for the Timberwolves. Right now, 73%. Memphis has four fast break points. Now. They average 16 a game. Well, it's hard to get fast break points when you're taking the ball out of the net. There's no doubt. But even then. Edwards, the escape dribble, no. Vanderbilt comes up with yet another rebound. Finds Beasley in the corner. It finds Beasley in the corner. The Wolves get yet another rebound. Russell, floater, yes. It's, it's ridiculous. Beasley knocks it away. Towns, Zaire Williams had a chance maybe to get into the play. He's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not messing with that. Gonna call a foul here on Russell. Gonna call a foul here on Russell.